Please be seated. At this time, let's have the children come up for our children's message. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. morning. You know my son. You know my son, Abe? Do you know Abe? Anyone know? Raise your hand if you know Abe. All right, 50%. Not bad. Not <laughs> Avery, maybe? Maybe you know it. Maybe. Right? Uh, you know my son, he's, um, he's starting to drive. And one day, one day, <laughs> yes? No? Yes. Yes, one day. Him too. <laughs> one day. You know, it's very, as a parent, I can't tell you how, what's the word it is? It's, I don't even think terrifying is the, that's an understatement. No offense, Abe. But uh, actually, Zoe's old enough too to get her permit as well. Anyways, so, uh, <laughs> yes. Anyways, well, you know, lately I've been, um, you know, every time I drive, well, my son is learning all the uh, rules of the road. So, yeah, I'm getting examined as I drive, of course. And it reminds me today, you know, there's a lot of signs on the road that you need to know, right? So, for example, we'll go through them real quickly. What's that right there? Uh, when you see a sign like this. School zone, maybe? School zone. Yeah, someone's walking here. Well, who's walking here, Verity? Who's walking? Maybe the mother. The mother or father and the child. the child. Now, when we see a school zone sign, what should we do? Slow down. Yeah, I think it's uh, 15 miles per hour. You shouldn't know yet. 20. I, 20. <laughs> like 15, 20. I think it's 15. I think I forgot to review my trap. Hey, what is it? 50. Yes. Okay. Um, terrifying. Yes. What about this one right here? Speed limit. Speed limit. What is? Where do we find the speed limit? On the road. Where on the road? Uh, on the local street or on the highway? The free. Oh, it's the freeway. The freeway, right? 60, sometimes it's 70 in some places, but you'll see a sign that says, go 60 miles per hour. Now there in Ontario, Hada, there's always a policeman on the slope, so be careful. <laughs> always, always, especially at night. They're always there. And the next one. Stop sign. Stop sign. Yes. Stop sign. What does stop sign mean? Stop. Stop, stop right? Not a California rolling stop. We do that here, and it comes naturally, doesn't it? All right, and those who are laughing, you know what I'm talking about here. So, so um, you know, these are, these are uh, traffic uh, uh, laws. Now, laws are good, aren't they? Why are laws good? They protect the people. The people. If you go 90 miles per hour on the freeway, what can happen? Uh, you can crash. Yeah, and you can hurt not only yourself, but other people. Other people right? If you don't stop at a stop sign and you just run through it, what, what could possibly happen? Uh, you get rammed by a car. Or you can hit, you can hit someone as well, yeah. right? And you can harm your neighbor, right? So the law in itself is good, isn't it? It is. You know, the Word of God shows us the law as well. It shows us what we ought to do. And we know that as the Ten Commandments. Commandments. They're good for us, right? They are good for us. They show us how to love God and also love our neighbor. Good. We call that the two tables of the law, right? Love God and love neighbor. You'll, you'll see that in confirmation uh, soon enough before you drive, of course. That's right. But we have God's Word, and He shows us what we ought to do. And we know what's good for us. But just like some traffic laws, 
you know, we might say, oh, school zone, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm late to work, so let's just speed through that a little bit, right? Or, yeah, I'm late to work, let's go past 60 and go 70. Stop sign, I'm late to work, I just have to get to work. And, and we sometimes do what with a law? Break, break, break it. it. Yeah. And that's with our sin too, don't we? You know, when we break, when we sin, in that very moment we say, well, Robert might say, ah, it's not so bad. Or Hannah Bailey or Ramona, Valerie, Avery, Ellis. Did we get everyone? You might say uh, Avery, Verity, right, Robert? Avery, yeah, okay, everyone here might say, oh, it's not so bad. And that's what we do with the law of God at times. But yeah, St. John the Baptist in our gospel text, what is he doing? He is proclaiming the law. And they didn't want to hear it. And what did they do with John? They put him to death. death. See, that's what they did with Jesus too, didn't they? Jesus says, I am the Christ. I am the Lamb of God. Or behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. I am the Savior of the world. But yet the world said what to him? No way. We're going to put you to death. But what does Jesus do on the cross in his death? What does he do? That's right. Verity, that's the truth. Get it? You got it. That's your truth. Right? He takes away our sins. Right? In his death upon the cross, what else does he do? What else? He dies the big death for us so that we may have life. Right? Three days later, he rose from the dead, dead to give us victory, everlasting life forgiveness and salvation. See, man tried to put away John. Man tries to put away Jesus. But at the end of the day, because Jesus is true God, he came to the world to die for you. And that's our Father's grace. And that's why we have the comfort of salvation. And that's Jesus for you. So that is the truth. The truth that has set you free. Jesus, his blood, forgiving you and giving you everlasting life. Let us pray. Let us pray. Nearly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we know that we do fall short in our sin, but yet you send us Jesus to be our sin, to be our death, to give us everlasting life. Bless us, O Lord, in your very word, and lead us always in your grace. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated.